see this SD card here? It is not working anymore. This is the SD card. This is the SD card in the Raspi. And it stopped working yesterday at 10.32. Yeah, look at this. All the data is missing. All of a sudden, it stopped working and there's no data. Nothing anymore. I, th I think somehow this little SD card got corrupted. And I think it is because I did this test the other day with all the USB connections and the USB hub and everything. And I restarted the... Um, well, I, I had to turn off the Raspi a couple of times to recognize all the USB devices again. And I usually just pull the power and apparently that's not good. So people really don't recommend to just pull out the power of the Raspi because your SD card could get corrupted. And this is what I checked the SD card is totally fine, but the whole data gone. So I've got another SD card in the Raspi at the moment. And I had to set everything up again. I had to watch my own video to learn how to do that. And now, look at this, all up and running again. And I didn't lose any of the historical data either. So people have really suggested to shut down the Raspi um, correctly by either doing a reboot from the software inside. You can go to the settings, um, general, and then reboot. And then watch the lights at the front of the Raspi. And if the light turns off, this is the moment when you can pull the cable because this is the time when it restarts actually. So it's not reading or writing anything on the SD card. So for that, you go into your remote console. Just wait until it connects. Go into the menu. Go into settings and go into general. And yeah, there, there, there's the reboot option. So if you hit now reboot, it will reboot and you will see the lights turning off for a second. So it's writing the information on the SD card now, activity on the SD card, and then it will stop. There it is, there it was. If you pull the cable out now within two or three seconds or so, it is safe to do and you won't corrupt your SD card. Just another option. I have done this a couple of times, but I thought, well, the other method is working as well, just pull the power. But obviously over time, that's not good. You can connect via SSH as well and then shut down the whole machine, but this is very cumbersome. So I would like to have a button or something on my phone, maybe a script or something which does exactly that. If someone can... Um... So I had to reconfigure the whole Raspi again. Wi-Fi setup, naming all the devices, basically changing all the settings to make it work again. And um, I think I have messed something up here. Uh, but I think I've mixed up East and West Roof. I'm not sure if this is correct here. It looked a bit weird this morning because I had heaps of power generation from the west roof. But there is some... Um, well, in the morning there's almost no sun, alright? So let's give it a try. I couldn't test this last night because there was no sun, obviously. Okay, if we just turn off west roof no it is correct wow that is strange totally correct okay turn this back on nice so i have now downloaded the app called mobile ssh on my android phone i'm sure there is a similar app available for ios devices so you go in there you click on SSH settings, you put in the IP address of your Raspi. I'm not sure if you can actually use uh, the port is 22. We click on OK and we click on connect. Ah, probably not. Okay, it's not connecting. Okay, so you need to have the IP address. Okay, this is my IP address here internally. And we go to connect. 
and then we log in as root and the password is whatever you have set in your Raspberry configuration. Send. Okay, we are in. Okay, so the command line to shut down the Raspberry correctly would be shut down minus H now. So if you don't type minus H, the Raspberry will just do a restart. It won't actually shut down and stay down, but the hold will shut it down and then it stays down. It doesn't, it doesn't restart anymore. So if we are going to send this one now, watch the lights at the front of the Raspi here, if the camera focuses. Mm. The system is going down for system hold now. And you will see both lights are turning off for a second. There it goes. And then the activity light is flashing and then turns off. See that? And that's it. It's not dead. It's not turned off. So now it's turned off. Yeah, see, the Raspi, the Raspi hasn't reported in for two minutes now here in the VRM. And now we can safely disconnect the power cable. And the lights turn off, and now it's really off. Okay, and then we plug in the power again. There we go. And then we can see the activity light. There it comes. Yeah, it's restarting now. And that's pretty much it. So we should see a real time. There it is, real time. It is back up and running. So this is this is basically how I do it now. If I have to shut down the Raspberry, I have to do it via the SSH console now to make sure there's no corrupt data on the SD card, which prevents the Rusty from coming back to life. It is a bit cumbersome, so if anyone can provide a script or something where you can just have an icon on your mobile phone to sh shut it down, that would be amazing. I just haven't got time to figure all this out. There's so much to learn. But that's why we have the community, right? Um, come on camera, focus. I think it's too dark. It is too dark. There it is. There. There. You can see that the top there. See this this um, contact bar there, this um, pin out you have in the Raspi. There are some pins available which you can use to restart the Raspi as well. So you can just connect a, a little switch and if you press it, it just does a restart. But this is not the correct way either because it prevents the system from writing all the information back on the SD card before it does a restart. So this is, this is more like the reset button on your computer. You know, if you press it while the computer hangs or something is frozen, you press the reset button. This is a similar thing, but um, there's nothing for shutdown. Well, pulling the power is really the worst idea you can do with your Raspi because it corrupts your data over time. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> it just stopped working yesterday for some reason. Okay guys, I hope these information are useful for some of you and I'm looking forward to your comments to, um, yeah, how can we make this better? The SSH console works, but it's a bit cumbersome to connect and then send the command and wait. Is there a better way? Let us all know down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all your support here on the channel. Until the next video, stay charged, stay safe, and thanks for watching again. See you then. Bye-bye.